after months of waiting, Humane finally unveiled the device they're building. They only showed some of the interactions, however. The design remains for the most part a mystery, right? Well, what if I told you that they've actually showed much more than you think? Like, enough to give us a concrete idea of how it'll be, work and look like. But first, the theories were right. This device is essentially a small wearable AI assistant that communicates with the user in two primary ways, with a voice and a projector. I mean, I'm not claiming to have discovered this myself. It's still Sam Sheffer that did most of the work. However, it's not like it was certain until they showed it. Anyway, my concept was generally right. And since they didn't show the hardware, I could definitely say, well, you know, we'll have to wait and see for that, I guess. But no, that's not what I do on this channel. I like to predict stuff, using everything that is publicly available that I can get my hands on. I'm not saying that what I'm about to show you is 100% confirmed the final design of the product, also because it could definitely be a prototype really. However, since I have nothing better to do, no, I'm joking, it's just that I'm really impatient for stuff, let's try to analyze the presentation and everything else you may produce that could hint at the design of the thing. So, the first obvious detail you can notice is that Imran is wearing the device in the pocket of his jacket. The device is covered for the most part, leaving only this little sliver fully visible, but that's where the most interesting stuff is probably going to happen anyway, because even if it's covered that much, it still fully works apparently. We can see from the video that the projection starts from here, but another more interesting detail to me is this light bar. What could its purpose be? Obviously, it's not just going to be an aesthetic detail, it would needlessly waste battery, and it's not something I would expect from people that worked at Apple for that long. It also only appears in different but uniform colors when certain things happen. It's not always there. What this tells me is that it's probably some sort of a status indicator, like those you can find on Smart Assistants, which I mean, this is pretty much a smaller wearable version of, and Smart Glasses like the Raven Story. Crucially, it's the thing you couldn't find on the original Google Glass, which is precisely what caused all the controversy at the time. That's why people were somewhat scared of them. You couldn't tell whether somebody wearing them was recording you or not. Pretty much every wearable with a camera that came after the Google Glass learn from that mistake. And I'm not expecting this device to be any different, considering that according to the patents, and not only that, we'll see in a minute, it will have a camera. This is everything we can see under normal circumstances. But nothing of what I'm doing right now is normal. So who cares about that? Let's make everything brighter. Yes, I know. Now the thick looks disgusting. But it does allow us to gain some more insights on how this part of the device looks like. There's apparently a black pill shaped thing that contains the projector and another sensor, which given the shape, I'm pretty sure it's a camera. It would also make perfect sense for it to be in the center. And there's a tiny dot in one of the corners, which could be anything, but realistically, I think it's a microphone. For the purpose of the video, I'm assuming that what we saw is the final design of the product, or at least very similar, and not a prototype. Theoretically, we can't be sure about that, but as of now, it still remains our best bet. So, using the power of 3D modeling software, here it is. Alright, I forgot to mention a couple of things. How can I be so sure that the device is going to be square and not rectangular, for example? Well, there's a couple of reasons. First, if you consider how this device is meant to be worn, it makes perfect sense. From the patents and the leaks, we know that the device is meant to be worn like a badge, using magnets, clips, or other similar methods. You didn't think they were expecting everyone to start wearing only stuff with little pockets every time, right? For a badge, it's already pretty bulky as it is. I'm not convinced many people would like to wear something like this. There's also a second reason though. You know how they started selling merch and one of the things you can buy is a set of stickers? Well, there is this one sticker that... Listen, I'm not saying that this one was hinting at the shape of the device. But I mean, even the corner radius is identical. I know those aren't incredibly solid arguments, but there's at least some evidence for this, compared to nothing for any other possible aspect ratio. Plus, consider that at the end of the keynote, Emron was able to fully hide the device between his hands, so it can't be too tall. Oh, and before I forget, what is this? Well, it's not that visible, but even without any weird filters, you can definitely see that under that first area with all the sensors, there is a lighter part. What could that possibly be? Considering that in the demo we can definitely see Emron tapping it to activate the device, 
it's safe to assume that it's either going to be a button or something like a trackpad. It makes sense, if you want your AI device to be perceived as mindful of the user's privacy, you probably don't want it listening to you 24-7, and I can't imagine the battery inside of the thing to be incredibly huge. Though, I've seen some people speculating that the device could have more than one button, maybe to activate different functions, though I don't believe that is the case. It would be kind of awkward having to look at the device to find the exact button for the feature you want to use. Plus, this is the theme responsible for killing the idea of single-purpose buttons in favor of context-based touch interactions on the iPhone. For them to bring that back would be especially absurd in my opinion. I'm fully expecting this to be a touchpad to allow for multiple interactions that don't require the user to necessarily look at it. And yes, I know that there's nothing in the keynote that is even hinting at this, but I still think that my idea of having a quick gesture to take photos and videos would be really nice to have. What's left to address? Oh, right. Even though the device is flat on the front, in my concept I made it a bit rounder on the back. Not only because of this frame here, but also because, thinking about it, a very blocky and sharp badge in almost direct contact with your skin probably wouldn't be that comfortable to wear. Now, many users will probably end up using headphones, sure, but this device must have a speaker. There's a single frame where we can see a detail that, to me, seems like it's either a little cavity to help when removing a back cover of some kind, or a speaker. That side, by the way, is the top one, where realistically a speaker should be, especially if they plan to advertise the in-pocket setup as a legit and supported way to wear it. Anyway, the only thing that is certain is that I really can't wait to know everything about this device and possibly try it as well. Though, I still remain of my opinion that the paradigm that will replace smartphones eventually will be a different one. I talk about that in much more detail in this video here. Check it out if you want. Ciao!